Okay. Margaret's Diary, Excerpt 12, August 28th, 1911. William is seven today. He is with Henry, running after the servants in the garden, dressed up like monsters from space. Games, always games. The monster, the mansion is all upside down, and their yells gave me an awful headache. I'm now cloistered in the office, unable to pray. Henry's fantasies keep William away from his great destiny. I have to bring him back to me as this will be my only chance to make a man out of him, to make him embrace the Venter Cross legacy, to show him the way. Henry is a dreamer, and he has no ambition whatsoever. He can't, he can't teach him any, anything. Behind every great man, there is a great woman. Nonsense. Women should be on the front line. This is where the opposite brought us. I have no illusion about how little power in the world is leaving in the hands of women. Fuck is that sound? Was I always looking through this window? No. Okay, you know what? We're, we're just... Fuck it. Oh, we're gonna go. <laughs> Closed. I was locked on this side. Okay. I really hate that they now give me... Hi. Hello. Oh, I don't know if I want to. What was it? Or what was it? In my world, women didn't glow like the moon. And they didn't walk through doors either. I have to be more badly wounded than I thought. <laughs> Why is everything... Was everything twisted before? Note to self, Mother's Shadows. Mother's Shadows will never go away. I understand it now. Calling them ghosts would still be too noble. It is a filth that strives in the dark like flies in, on manure. As long as I am alive, they will never go away. Margaret's Diary, Excerpt 19. And this is good old Boston, the home of the bean and the cod where the Lowells talk only to the Cabots, and the Cabots only talk to God. A Boston Toast by John Collins Bossity, Boston Brand's Anthem. I don't know why, but I like really... I'm gonna turn around. Bye bye now. <laughs> I'm like really struggling to read some of this. I don't, I don't want to make friends. In the eyes of the old man, you can see wisdom and sadness. Who could hang the picture of a headless woman on the what? Margaret Vesper, knee bent across. A woman as noble as cold. Margaret and Henry Vesper, huh? Two strangers pretending to be married. Um, can I go this way? Is there, yes, yes, there's a door. I don't want to go near her. <laughs> I don't know who or what that is, but I'm going to go a different direction. Thank you very much. There was barely any humanity left in the man's stare. Uh, this portrait of a woman had been cut with a knife. Now this homeowner is really a lovely human. A harbor, empty boats on water. An appointment with destiny too. These economic royalists complain that we seek to overthrow the institutions of America. What they really complain of is that we seek to take away their power. Our allegiance to the American institutions requires the overthrow of this kind of power. In vain, they seek to hide behind the flag and the Constitution. In their blindness, they forget what the flag and the Constitution stand for. Now, as always, they stand for democracy, not tyranny, for freedom, not subjection, and against a dictatorship by mob rule and the overprivileged alike. 
Franklin Delano. Del Delano. Why do I always think Roosevelt June? What? An original copy of Debussy's Claire de Lune. Please let there be like a light some wait a second. This is not the same room that I was in, but there is a save point, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and save. Right? Was that a save point? Yeah. I had to f I have to find a better source of light. Okay, yeah, that checks out. The windows had no handle. A very unhelpful peculiarity. Oh, I hate everything about this. Yeah, there's still some matches there, though. The gramophone could only play silent dust. Hello. I decided Who to are you? A presence. After all, from all those weird things I had seen. Who night, are you? She was. Oh, look at that picture on the left. What the frick is that? From Selena, Selena to William, excerpt number one. Dearest William, you wanted to know more about me. Last time, I didn't tell you everything. This letter will make up for this. When I arrive in California in 1930, I am only 18. This is a marvelous place, and the weather is so nice. I spend hours on the beach, astonished to see how brown my Norwegian skin can become. In the evening, I hang near the jazz clubs. In the afternoon, I watch people play on the beach, humming the tunes I heard the night before. Sometimes I try and sing louder than the waves. That's a good exercise. My English is quickly improving, thanks to the American songs. I already know. I already knew in Oslo. At that time, I am barely aware of the social, social misery that is devouring your country. I am young. I want to be beautiful, to meet people my age, and to sing. In Los Angeles, at the Spice Club, I meet the members of a jazz band. They are talented and funny. We play all night. I forget about the hour and about my parents. They even call the police. At the end of the night, the musicians tells the mu the musicians tells me. Okay, double two plurals in a row. <laughs> they are looking for a singer and that they want me. I can hardly believe it. Have you ever felt that you finally belong somewhere? It feels fantastic. Like I know I say the like plurals thing, but all things considered. Then <gasps> fuck you. This thing looked like it was reaching out from some fairy tale. The kind of stories in which kids get devoured by some witch in a dark forest. Was it real? It's real enough, and that's or what matters. William Vesper's diary, excerpt eleven or excerpt twelve. I feel like it like shocked my brain, and I can't even read. February sixth, nineteen thirty-two. Of all the bars I visited, the smoke and mirrors appears to have been especially tailored for me. My Weren't we at the smoke and mirrors earlier? Because I'm pretty sure that the place that we left from, at the very like at the very opening scene, the first word was smoke. People there are quiet, melancholic even. They stagnate in the swirling smoke of their cigarettes. Okay, so we're William. Like convicts, desperate victims that were pushed to the darkness by the crisis. But even if the bar is an elegant place. They are not driven away. They respect their right to oblivion. It is a place where they can disappear. I found myself in a corner from which I can watch their comings and goings until I am carried to the abyss by my own whiskey. Every time I am caught, I am caught again by the band. Such good musicians. Their music is like a tear that came from stretches. That time stretches, why can I not English? A slow jazz steady and reserved. It is the music of their time, the music of those who fell on the wayside. Someone told me about a singer who just got hired. Well, I don't think the band needs that, but we will see. I tried not to think about it. Only a madman can think mad things. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't. I don't fuck with dark rooms on a good day, and uh, mm -mm, not in this game. I already started to go partially insane at some point, so that's always fun. 
excerpts of 18 spring i didn't read this one margaret's diary excerpt 18 april 2nd 1914 spring came and the becoming and the blooming flowers are the source of unbearable allergies the shadow of henry and his ancestors is taunting the mansion the place is mine now and i am busy trying to give it a, a suitable appearance william won't like it but so be it he has to learn that the power to change things has to be earned i'm still his mother he doesn't seem to understand what it meant to be a boston brahmin it was only when I came, when I grew older, that I really understood what it meant. I tried picking the best words, savoring their meaning today, teaching him the part his ancestor John Venter, who arrived in Boston in 1710, had played in the building of the city. That is a really running, that, that sentence really runs on. The duty on the shoulders of New England Protestant elite. I ended with these words, we are the past and the future of the city, William. He shrugged and went to play the piano. There is way too much of his father in this child. I don't want to go this way, but I'm just going to... Examine. Thank you. A log. A good start if I wanted to start a fire. Oh, that was just shadows moving around. Wait, why is there a microphone on a table? The menu for the dinner seemed to be a good 20 years late. Note to self. Kitchen key. My dear friend. For the lack of sleep erodes your sanity as well as your memory. I hereby decide to put the kitchen key in this book of recipes. Father loves so much. It is in the library and won't move from there, which will prevent you from having to make extra keys again. Please start by trying not to lose this note. Your devoted servant, yourself, William. Did I, I read this one, correct? Yes. I'm not, I'm not going to open that door yet. No, no dark. You know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and light the fire. The fire could be an ally, but I, I needed to find some wood. Yes. I needed more wood to- oh, I... Can't we just- If the match was a nuisance, I could put it out. Pressing B repeat- No, thank you. No, I want to keep the fire on. Why would I want to put the fire out? A log. A good start if I wanted to start a fire. How many do I need? Oh, three matches. Okay. Sorry, I talk. I tend to talk faster when I'm nervous. Were you quite finished? Still more wood for the fire. No. They're gonna fuck with me at some point. There's gonna be something terrifying. W. Vesper. He had the stare of a broken man, a lost soul. Why does the music stop? Did the ticking stop when I get to this corner? More matches. You can carry more. Just, like, they're matches. They're tiny. Just throw a load of them in your pocket. You don't have to be limited to 12. Especially when there's multiple boxes laying around. William Vesper's Diary, Excerpt 9. May 11th, 1928. It has been a year already since Sarah died of pneumonia. A few months after... Winterstone became disabled following his heart attack. They were my only friends. Today the house is empty, like every day, filled only with my own echoes and these things I don't want to hear anymore. I miss father so much. I still see him playing by my side. I see him put his hands on the piano keys, humming as if he was playing music. I think about leaving, but then I wonder, what would that change anyway? Night is everywhere. She would find me. First, I have to make my big plan come true and learn how to live again. I listen to Jack... Hi, Hylton's wonderful you, and I realize I've never had anyone to play with. This is what I need. Some company, a companion. The city is so close. I guess it is time to leave. They have electricity and light there. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Go around the table, please. 
Solitary sons. Poetry. The last thing I had in mind. Mm -mm. Do I have to go through that door? Because I didn't... Oh. A real mic phone but the girl was she just a dream can you open no sometimes when the camera shifts it's kind of hard to keep going in the correct direction the door is blocked from the other side lovely It would do, it would do the trick, but for how, I already had enough. Why did you say I needed more? By pressing A repeatedly, I can break things open. I could look around. Oh. Touching that disc was warm and comforting. I felt the urge, an urge to listen to it. Ooh, why was the disc warm? Lipstick, crucifix, astronomy books, such treasure. From Selena to William, excerpt two. In September 1934, during a concert at the Red Bait, we met Jim Erzinger. A producer whose label, Two Roads, is becoming prominent. After the show, he tells me I have a marvelous voice and that my Norwegian accent brings something unique to our African to our African American jazz music. That it is enough to get the attention of amateurs and curious listeners. I have to admit, Norwegian jazz singers are not that many, but I can't really believe he would hire us. But he does. He why is she saying us? He suggests we name the band Selena and the Frozen Sons. I am proud. I am to be paid for singing. Everything looks so simple. Dad used to say that anything can grow in California. I feel like a flower finding its way through the snow, but my parents are not happy for me. I think they are homesick, but I am 22. Life is an adventure, and I don't know that I don't know much about life. I know nothing of pain, for example. Everything changes. Is there going to be something in here? Because I'd really prefer for that not to be the case. I know I can interact with it there. That music, its mere presence gives, gave me some hope. her, that girl from the jazz record, Selena Sandvik. The key she left me was an invitation. Was she trying to help me? Or was I heading towards even more troubles? Okay, thank you kindly, ma'am. A present. The disc said the girl was called Selena Sandvik. A jazz singer from Norway. She had two gifts for me. Her voice, who could seduce even the darkness, and a key, though it didn't mention which door it was supposed to open. I am so sorry for the sound of my dog. I had to focus. Surviving is a full-time job. Not the kind of job you can afford to lose. I read that one, correct? Yes. 
This, oh, yeah, I had a figure that I had. I figured I had a few. It seemed that using the gramophone made the girl appear, but it wasn't enough. She needed more, apparently. That puzzle was missing a piece, a link between her and the contraption. I found a chest that could be helpful, but the wood cover was very heavy. I would need a, another light source if I wanted to use both my hands. Or you can just put the match on the floor. I mean, like, yeah, the house might burn with you in it, but it's better than being in there for an extended period of time. Like, if, yeah. Just, it just gives you more motivation to move a little bit faster. <laughs> I saw a surreal woman crossing the doors like plumes of smoke. Her out-of-this-world beauty was extraordinary. Was it my imagination? Was she the girl on the road? That would explain why there was no body. Is there any more? No. I had to focus. Surviving is a full-time job. Not the kind of job you can afford to lose. Actually... That was probably a complete waste, but... The door is blocked. Oh, yeah, the block from the other side. What about this one to the right? Is there anything else actually in here? Lipstick, colors. It was just those three items, it seems. This is what the night looks like. Limited perspective is as closed as this door. I would honestly really prefer not to go back into the hallway. Given the creepy shadowy first No, no, no. Don't fuck with dark in this game. Did I read this one? Cuz this is like shine. Okay. So the matches shine even if there's no light near them. Did I open this? An appointment with- yes, I read that one. What about the one on the table? An appointment with Destiny 1. For too many of us, the political equality we once had won was meaningless in the face of economic inequality. A small group had concentrated into their own hands and almost complete control over other people's property, other people's money, other people's labor, other people's lives. For too many of us, life was no longer free, liberty no longer real. Men could no longer follow the pursuit of happiness. Against economic tyranny such as this, the American citizen could appeal only to the organi organized power of, the, of government. The collapse of 1929 showed up, showed up the, the desperate for what it was. The election of 1932 was the people's mandate to end it. Under that mandate, it is being ended. Franklin Delano Re Roosevelt, June 27, 1936. What was there inside that needed to be concealed? I don't know, but... Are you freaking kidding me? There was a light this entire time. Wait, what's... The box, lid was the box lid was displaying an esoteric symbol. Can I not actually open it? Is there something else I should be made aware of? Or is this just trying to like, let me know, hey, don't forget. You can still save, which I will do. Thank you very much. And then I'll go out into the hallway where that ghost just was. Because that's exactly where I want to be. I remember the smell, cold tobacco, fresh enough to fill the room. So he's been here before.
A small music box with it. Actually, let's go to the top and just double check, see if there's anything I missed. Once inside the house, I tried to use the phone. I read that one. Oh, he thinks he's losing his mind, which, uh, kind of worried that he might already lost it, but sure. A small music box with a secret inside. I could feel it shudder under my fingers. The symbol of Venus was engraved on the lid. And then on the right, a glamorous crimson lipstick. A wife's, a lover's, that touch of feminine, 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 fen that word, was in stark contrast with the mess in the room. Not with the glass and ashtrays, though. Golden lip cigarettes. The best things are made from the best ingredients. Golden lip cigarettes are made with the finest Turkish tobacco, finely and tightly braided to bring out all its flavor. So light you'll think you draw on the air of a sunny morning, and yet you shall enjoy all the strength of their distinctive character. Breathe and fly with golden lip cigarettes. Join millions of smokers. I say you gotta love it, but at the same time, it's just kind of perpetuating multiple forms of cancer, I believe. I definitely know lung cancer, obviously, but... I'm sure some people... Oh, never mind. Oh, wait, globe! Hi! The globe was covered with scribblings places that you've traveled maybe can i read no handle very unhelpful peculiarity this play this game has like a lot of really little things to look at that you wouldn't expect like i already turned on sheet music was taken away from that glass case okay um i've already turned it on like this like things glowing yellow was not like that wasn't an automatic setting that was something i turned on myself what was there inside that needed to be concealed did i put that out maybe maybe not i don't know yeah where were the matches I thought there were still matches on the table. No, whatever. No, I'll go over here. Oh, wrong table. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. Here we are. Are they still there? They're still there. Um, I'm gonna go this way. A high heel shoe. Maybe its owner is still around here. Um, I know someone's still around here. That's for sure. Read those. Okay. That was the... Is it this way? Yeah. Oh. Wait a second. Why do I feel so lost? I am getting mixed up. It's not like there's like an inventory or anything like that. That's not what I wanted. Can I open this now? Do I have to go and say hi? Because I'd really prefer not to. Oh, there's still more matches. Are there just always, like, do the matches ever actually run out? The fuck is, oh, oh shit. Okay, we're good. <laughs> okay, 
so I can't get through that door quite yet. These two loop around. She's still right there. Or someone's still right there, and I'd really prefer not to meet them. Why did this light turn out? Or did it? Maybe it didn't. It might still be on in the very far corner. What the fuck? Oh! My god, I never picked up the freaking key. I was like, I could have sworn I had a key. Yeah, as it turns out, I'm just an idiot. So that's always nice. That's blocked from the other side. Come on, don't. No, we're not going to go insane in the dark. Lovely. Looks broken and dangerous. Oh, shit. Okay, so that box is out. So it the matches definitely seem to go out a lot faster. You still there? Did I read this? Yes. The matches definitely go out a lot faster. You freak me the fuck out. The matches go out a lot faster if I'm running. However, he walks very slowly if he's not running, and I am impatient. I would also, like, ideally, I don't want to know what it looks like or what happens when I get caught. <laughs> With that box in my pocket, I felt at ease. Good for you. At least one of us is. Okay. I don't like that you just started stepping into the room on your own. Note to self, the shadows avoid the electric light. Tonight, one of Mother's shadows caught me as I was walking inside the library. That same day, I had someone fix the electrical wiring, which had been out of service for years. In panic, I switched on the light. The shadow vanished in a scream. Electric light kills them. You know what? I'm... I'm gonna stand over here. Oh, fuck. The electric light is out in this room. Is it... 